Hey guys, before we begin, here's our weekly shout out. Check out the artwork, I've kept the link in the description. Love and Little Loops is an aspiring DIY artist and Barry is a massively talented DJ and a music producer. Make sure you check them out and show them some love. With that, let's get straight into the video. What is up guys, it's Ghost Reverb again and today we are going to talk about 5 advice to any music producer who is just starting out. There will be a part 2 to this and I'm still in the process of making it. And these are not universal steps or process or something you have to go through but these are just my personal advice. I'll try to keep it short and straight to the point. Being a music producer, I understand that you can accomplish nothing if you have your whole priorities jumbled. Before we get into the video, those of you who are new to my channel and you like my videos, please click the subscribe button and the notification icon so you never miss a video and smash that like button. Here are my 5 advice to any music producer who is just starting out. Music theory is very essential. I'm not saying that you can't do without it. I have friends with mad talent and they get on pitch easily but for some of you who keeps on wondering why are your beats off, take an hour or half an hour a day to learn about the music theory. Check out free online courses if you may or if you want to really dive into music production you can invest in online coaching or go to a music school as well. As for me, I've learned it the hard way. I always made beats and tracks listening to them by ear and for some reason I never got the pitch right. I did not know how to correct the pitch, nothing on the scales, staff and everything else. Like I said, my beats always sounded way off until I started learning music theory. Check out some courses on Udemy or similar sites. For me personally, I learned using the courses on Udemy. A digital audio workstation has been relevant since a very long time and almost everything in the music production requires you to use a DAW. I mean, even in a live recording where you can have people on the instruments, you still would need a DAW for mastering and mixing vocals and the track. Choose your DAW based on your comfort zone. I personally use FL Studio 20. I'm going to take an example of two widely used DAW for music production, FL Studio and Ableton Live. Although you have other DAWs like Pro Tools which have been very popular in the industry nowadays but anyways, for the sake of comparison, FL Studio and Ableton. FL Studio has tons of features but Ableton has that workflow that gives you that peace of mind. Which one would you choose? That is again up to your comfort zone. Of course there is no competition going on here on which one can make you produce better or anything like that. There's no such thing. We do not have a winner or we do not intend to make this a competition either. But all I can say is that these DAWs are worth spending for. As hard as your beats hit, your song will not sound good without any proper arrangement. What is arrangement? Arranging your music can give some variety or uniqueness to the music. That's how you give your beat that proper structure. Let me show you something. We are going to use a 14 second samples from the kit plug. I'll put up their link in the description as well and it sounds something like this. Yeah, and we are going to switch it up, add effects, add structure to the sample, create variation and turn it to a full beat. Have a listen. Oh. 
As a music producer, I understand and I know for sure that you and I have an inventory of beats we made since we were 5 years old and we haven't finished them. My advice on this is to go dig up your old beats guys. By now there's something probably new that you have learned that you can implement on your old or unfinished beats. If you are stuck in an arrangement, I would suggest you go out, take a walk, come back and complete the beat. To be honest, there was a point where I would find myself stuck on something and I would just leave it and start over. But if you want to see results, finish what you started guys. Creating music is like painting a picture and you always need the motivation to do so. Sometimes it may feel like you are doing a task that you have to complete. Some factors which makes you feel this way are, it is difficult, it takes too long to get results, I do not get recognized. And believe me that this is just at the early stage of your career. Once you get past that, you are good to go. And in a career full of art, you just have to keep seeking for motivation and relive the passion for your dreams to create music. Well, that is it guys for this video and I wanted to tell you how grateful I am for the support you guys give me and I will see you again in the next video.